Welcome back. Thank you so much for tuning in this morning. It's about to get that much more feel good. We know the random acts of kindness, they cost us absolutely nothing, but bring the greatest rewards. And this morning, we bring you a feel good story of how the Dischem Foundation continued to support multiple initiatives across South Africa and bring much needed relief to communities that need it so badly. We all know Dischem is our favorite one stop health shop, but they do a lot of good work out of the store too. Today I'm going to be chatting to two incredible women to learn more about the Diskim Foundation and how they help others in need. With our beautiful beaches and warm climate, we can consider ourselves lucky to live in sunny South Africa. But poverty and crime are harsh realities that need to be addressed. The Diskim Foundation is doing all they can to help with a number of supportive initiatives. Lynette, tell us a little bit more about the Diskim Foundation. When we started with our loyalty program, which we call our benefit program, we wanted to give back not only to the customer, but also to the communities in which we work and in which we live. With that, the Diskim Foundation was born. There is unfortunately a lot of need in this country. We don't concentrate on any one particular field. Though obviously health, uh, education, uh, f food, food is of huge importance, nutrition, basic hygiene. So we are active in very many different fields and we have been able to touch the lives of a number of people. Drugs are unfortunately a real issue in South Africa, especially in underprivileged communities. Drug use is often a catalyst for other crimes and in poorer areas, one in 14 people are considered regular drug users. Worst of all, children as young as 10 are getting hooked and foregoing their much needed education. Penny, you do a lot of work to fight drug abuse in underprivileged communities. Can you tell us a little bit more about your work in Innerdale and about the Ladies of Hope? We're very close to Innerdale because actually our local brigadier of the police works in Innerdale. This is his great passion. They've had a lot of riots. They've had a lot of mothers of drug addicts. Their homes have been burnt. They've been abused by the drug dealers. This particular one got us because the woman who was standing up and, and demonstrating and fighting for their children's rights and fighting for a cleaner, healthier, better society. Then there's a drug rehab centre, which is an old industrial building, which has got 30 beds in it, with a division in it, and that's it. There's nothing else. These kids want rehabilitation. They can't get rehabilitation. And this is something very interesting, which we see. The women are strong. They are feisty, they are passionate. Don't get in the way of these kinds of women because they will do anything to save their children and their communities. As an animal lover, I couldn't help but notice that you're putting a lot of efforts into animal rescue as well. Do you find a lot of these animal organizations don't only do animals, but they actually teach kids in areas about looking after animals, looking after pets. If you see a sick dog, if somebody's got a, a chain, report come and tell us what's going on. And they use a lot of animals in therapy too. This is how life works. We start something, people follow. Good things happen, most of the time. You offer support to so many different projects. Can you tell us a little bit more about some of them? There are a few. The one is the Smile Foundation that we have teamed up with. If a child is walking around with a cleft palate and a cleft lip, First of all, it's very difficult for their child to eat, but as well, they become a target and a subject of, of abuse amongst other children. Once a year for a whole week, we sponsor the operations, the reconstructive surgery, and it makes a complete difference in the life of these children. Another organization that we help is called the Green Door. It's a midway station for rape victims. Uh, between being raped and getting the case reported and getting it to the police. Unfortunately, we also have a terrible problem in this country of the abuse of women and children. One of the things that has been very uplifting for us in all this terrible depression that's happening here is that how the people come to the fore and how people 
come and take care of con on situations and do what they can. I think it's safe to say there's a lot more to the Diskim brand than meets the eye. Thank you so much to Diskim for supporting these great causes which are making a real difference in the lives of those who need it most. Diskim, pharmacists who care. And moving on into some even more exciting news for our foodies this time. This week, Diskem is giving away an incredible hamper, which includes all of our wellness expert Lisa Raleigh's kitchen favorites. Now, this hamper is valued at over 2,000 Rand, which includes all your essentials from yummy and healthy food alternatives to recipe books to get you inspired. So this definitely is one to get your hands on. And it's really easy. All you have to do to win is SMS Diskem to 33728. And don't forget, every time you enter, you also receive a free entry into the grand prize draw, draw where you could win 12,000 Rand in Diskem shopping vouchers. But as with all good things, SMSs are charged at 1 Rand 50, and those T's and C's can be found on our website at expressoshow.com.